Hello everyone, welcome to Manever Education and today we will discuss the weekly current affairs the world this week, 4th week of March 2022. So let us discuss but before we going to start I want to discuss that. If you are targeting this kind of the examination like the CLAT, MH, LOS 80, 3 by 5 years, SLAT, DU, BHU, LSAT and many more and if you are targeting the top law colleges in India, so don't worry, badges launched by the Manever Education where you can get the live classroom coaching, books, shortcut tricks for your examinations and many more doubt solving sessions where you can solve your doubts with the help of the faculty members and you can also get the recorded videos for your future and you can also get the topic wise test, more tests and you can also get the whatsapp group where you can solve your queries and doubts with the help of the faculty members in this kind of the group you can also get the 10,000 plus question series test for your practice test and you can also get the mentorship program with the help of the examination mentor and if you are looking for the classroom coaching at the Mumbai so we have a three centers Dadar, Borivali and Vasai so what are you waiting for guys book your seat now and call on 8828-5814 you can visit our center also and you can visit our website which is called the manavereducation.com slash law entrance uh, where was the India Japan annual summit 2022 held so there are the four options over here Tokyo New Delhi Chennai Osaka so correct answer is the New Delhi is it clear so Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Japanese counterpart Fumio Kishida held talks in New Delhi during the India Japan annual summit 2022 after the meet the Indian Prime Minister announced that Japan is set to invest 5 trillion yen uh, or rupees 3.2 lakh crore in India over next five years. So this is a Japan Prime Minister's first visit to India as the head of the Japanese government. Okay, let us move on the next question. Which country has developed a realist, uh, relativistic Kelstion amplifier it stands for the RKA which can destroy satellites in a space? India, Russia, China or Israel? So correct answer is the China. Okay. Let us discuss the description. China has recently developed a microwave machine. Relativistic Kelstion amplifier it stands for the RKA that could jam or destroy satellite in space. The device can generate a wave burst measuring 5 megawatts in the car point. It is a portion of the electromagnetic spectrum used for both civil and military purpose we can say that and directed energy weapons it stands for the DEW okay directed energy weapons use contracted electromagnetic energy to destroy enemy equipment or the personnel. Let us move on the next question. India advocated the biological and toxin weapons conventions it stands for the BTWC at which international body so there are the four options over here United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees UNHCR United Security Council it stands for the UNSC United Nations Environmental Program it stands for the UNEP and internal court of justice it stands for the ICG so correct answer is the United Nations Security Council so let us discuss the description India advocated the biological and toxin weapons convention stands for the BTWC at the United Nations Security Council UNSC okay so India announced that it attaches uh, high importance to the BTWC convention as a key non-discriminatory uh, discriminatory disarmament conventions prohibiting an entire category of weapons of mass destructions okay let us move on the next one which India has which Indian has been appointed to United Nations Advisory Board on Executive Multilateralism? Okay, so there are the four options over here. So correct answer is the Jayati Ghosh. Okay, so uh, Jayati Ghosh has been appointed by United Nations Security General Antony Guterres to the Advisory Board on Effective Multilateralism. Okay, United Nations Chief Guterres announced the establishment of the new high level to be co-chaired by former Liberian president and Nobel literate Alan Johnson, Sir Leif and former Swedish Prime Minister Stephen Lofen. Okay, so you have to remember this thing and you can see the photo of the Jayati Ghosh. Okay, let us move on the next one. Germany has signed the energy deal with which northeastern country to reduce its dependence on the Russia. 
so there are the four options over here kuwait qatar oman or united arab emirates so if we talk about the correct answer so correct answer is the qatar okay let us discuss the description over here so germany has signed the energy deal with the qatar as long term energy partnership we can say that and russia has been the largest supplier of the gas as well as to the uh, natural gas regarding to the germany uh, if you remember this thing nord stream 1 and nord stream 2 okay is it clear and germany europe's biggest economy in seeking to become less dependent on russia and a russian energy sources we can say that after the russia started to invade ukraine uh, the portion of the U ukraine we can say and qatar's emir and germany's minister also discussed ways to enhance bilateral relationships or bilateral relations in the year of this energy sector okay so you have to remember this thing and uh, please take care about the flag which is called the qatar flag is it clear let us move on the next one the golden langur uh, is an endangered species in native to which of the following country india bhutan india sri lanka india bangladesh or laos and cambodia if we talk about the correct answer so correct answer is the india and bhutan okay so golden langur it stands for the trachypichis uh, gi is an endangered primate species that is disturb, uh, distributed along the boundary of the bhutan and india as per a recent study there is a significant decline in the habitat of golden langur and the intensity of human langur conflict is increasing due to enhancement human footprints in the habitat of this species is it clear so you have to take care about this thing and the boundary which is called the india and bhutan is it clear let us move on the next one shaksham which was seen in the news recently is an offshore patrol vessel of which armed forces indian navy indian army indian coast guard and indian air force if we talk about the correct answer so correct answer is the indian coast guard is it clear i c g uh, the indian coast guard is stands for the i c r okay indian national Huh. Uh, the Indian Coast Guard has commissioned ICGS Shaksham, the fifth uh, Coast Guard ship in the series of the 105M class offshore patrol vessels. You can see the photo over here. Okay, ICGS Shaksham is the fifth and last offshore patrol vessel designed and developed by the Goa Shipyard Limited uh, for the Coast Guard. The vessel uses totally uh, indigenous steering gear and gearbox, which was being imported earlier. Okay, so in this particular question you have to remember this thing regarding the indian coast guard 105m class 1 uh, goa shipyard uh, limited ke dwara isko build up kiya gaya hai and regarding the shaksham icgs shaksham is it clear let us move on the next one uh, x the slack uh, is a joint defense exercise held between the armed forces of india and which country sri lanka france uzbekistan or oman if we talk about the correct answer so correct answer is the uzbekistan Okay, the third edition of the joint training exercise between India's and Uzbekistan's armies named X the Slick uh, begin in Uzbekistan's Yangirik. Okay, so you have to remember this name Uzbekistan's Yangirik. Okay, uh, India is represented by its Grenadiers Regiment, while the Uzbek Army contingent is represented by the troops of the Northwestern Military District. Is it clear? The last edition of the Slick was held in the Uttarakhand Rani Khet. Please remember this thing. Last day for the last edition, कहाँ पर हुआ था? उत्तराखंड के रानी खेत में हुआ था. Is it clear? And the joint exercise will focus on counter uh, terrorism operation in the semi-urban terrain. Is it clear? Let us move on the next one. Biplobi uh, Bharat Gallery was recently inaugurated at which of the following city? Bhubaneswar, Kolkata, Guwahati, or Shimla? If we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is the Kolkata. Is it clear? Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Biplobi Bharat. Bharat Gallery at Victoria, uh, Victoria Memorial Hall, Kolkata, via video conferencing on the occasion of the Sahid Divas, which is 23rd March. Co observed. Kiya jata hai. Is it clear? The gallery showcased the contribution of the revolutionaries in the freedom struggle and their resistance to British colonial rule. It showcased the British. Uh, it showcased the birth of the revolutionary movement, formation of the association by revolutionary leaders, spread of the movement, formation of the Indian. national army contribution of the naval mutiny among four others okay so you have to take care about this thing and yahan par aap gallery ka photo bhi dekh sakte hain jahan par hamare uh, revolutionaries hain uske photos lage hain is gallery ke andar is it clear let us move on the next one 
what is the main objective uh, of the Sujalam 2.0 campaign. So, there are the four options over here ground water conservation, grey water management, rain water management and flood management. Is it here? If we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is the grey water management. So, Jal Shakti Ministry Gajendra Singh Shekhawat has recently launched the Sujalam 2.0 campaigning uh, for grey water management. Grey water is waste water for from non, uh, non toilet plumbing systems. The theme of this year's campaign is ground water making the invisible uh, invisible visible. Is it clear? So, you have to take care about this particular theme. Is it clear? Okay, you have to remember this thing. Uh, under the campaign, government will mobilize communities, panchayat, schools to undertake the grey water management. Okay, let us move on the next one. Which organization successfully test fired the surface to surface Brahmos supersonic cruise missile ISRO, DRDO, HAL or BEL? Is it clear? So, if we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is the DRDO, Defense Research Development and Organization successfully test fired the surface to surface Brahmos supersonic cruise missile in the Andaman Nicobar Island. The extended range missile hits uh, its target with pinpoint accuracy, we can say that, and one of the missiles earlier missed fired due to technical malfunction from an Indian Air Force uh, unit during a command air staffing inspection. It stands for the CASI. Is it clear? Let us move on the next one. Uh, which country is the host of the BIMSTEC summit in 2022? India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Bangladesh. So, if we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is the Sri Lanka. Okay. So, the Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Corporation that stands for the BIMSTEC. Okay. BIMSTEC summit is hosted by Sri Lanka in 2022. BIMSTEC charter and the BIMSTEC master plan for transport connectivity are proposed to be signed during the Sri Lanka summit. BIMSTEC was established in 1997, okay, in 1997 and it comprises seven member states, Bangladesh, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Myanmar and Thailand. Is it clear? So, you have to remember this thing. Kon kon se member hai BIMSTEC ke andar? Saat countries hai uh, Bangladesh, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Nepal, Okay, Sri Lanka and Myanmar and Thailand. Is it clear? Let us move on the next one. Who has been awarded the Abel Prize 2022? Dennis, uh, Curtis, William or Hall? So, if we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is the Dennis Parnell Sulvin. Okay. So, the Abel Prize of the year 2022 has been awarded to Professor Dennis. It is awarded annually to outstanding mathematicians. The award was established by the Norwegian government in 2002 and is, it is managed by the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters. Professor Solvin was, uh, Solvin was awarded the prize for his contributions to topology and uh, in particular its algebraic, geometric and dynamical aspects. Is it clear? So, you have to remember this thing okay let us move on the next one what is india's gdp's growth rate projection for 2022 to 23 uh, fy23 as per organization for economic corporation uh, cooperation and development it stands for the o Huh. OECD is it clear? So, 8.7%, 8.5%, 8.3%, 8.1%. Or 8.1%. So, if we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is the 8.1%. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD has retained the outlook for India's real gross domestic product GDP at 5.5% in FY24, lower than 8.1% in 2022 to 23. Is it clear? Let us move on the next one. What is the theme of the Wings India 2022? Flying for all highlights, uh, flying for all India at the 75 and India the global aviation hub. Okay, if we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is the India at the 75 new horizon for aviation industry. Is it clear? Let us discuss the description over here. Uh, there is a description, the theme of the event India's at the 75 new horizon for aviation industry. So you can see the photo over here. Is it clear? 24 to 27th March ke mein ye sari hui thi, okay? So, thanks for the today's session. Before we complete, I want to discuss that. 
If you are targeting this kind of the examination like the CLAT, MH, low CT, 3 by 5 years, SLAT, DU, BHU, LSAT and many more and if you are targeting the top law colleges in India, so don't worry, badges launched by the Manever Education where you can get the live classroom coaching, books, shortcut tricks for your examinations and many more doubt solving session where you can solve your doubts with the help of the faculty members and you can also get the recorded videos for your future and you can also get the topic wise test, more and you can also get the whatsapp group where you can solve your queries and doubts with the help of the faculty members in this kind of the group you can also get the 10,000 plus question series test for your practice test and you can also get the mentorship program with the help of the examination mentor and if you are looking for the classroom coaching at the Mumbai so we have a three centers Dadar, Borivali and Vasai so what are you waiting for guys book your seat now and call on 8828-5814 you can visit our center also and you can visit our website which is called the manavereducation.com slash law entrance thank you jahim once again and we will meet tomorrow 11 am onwards which is uh, on monday okay and we will discuss the daily current affairs and the hindu news analysis is it clear so please be present over here and if you really like this session so please like this session and please share the session with your friends family members and colleagues who are preparing for this particular examination and if you are really like this session if you are really appreciate this session and uh, if you are the new family members so please just subscribe our channel for your uh, regular updates and notification regarding the session and videos and the knowledge okay so once again please like share and subscribe the particular sessions okay so once again thank you jai hind bye bye take care and always welcome